Shut up, Jerry Hallowell. Shut up. Well, this room is a bit messy. Hi, so I kind of feel like a dad that abandoned his family to have a midlife crisis as a rock star and then came back and they were like, we are not pleased. <laughs> So you remember when I said new video on my side channel, Dan is not interesting, at least once a week? Yeah, well that was before me and Phil knew we'd be doing the Super Amazing Project again, so I don't know if you know how long it takes to make a video, but usually at least two days, so it couldn't be Super Amazing Project and side channel videos. Which would you rather have? Which would you rather have? But yes, let's all enjoy the sound of this siren. You better have had an interesting accident. So yes, why am I making this video? Oh yes, that's right. We won Super Note! Ah! Yep, that's right. We completely destroyed Super Note. In the butt. I mean, come on. To put this into perspective, we got more than Grace and Tyler combined. I mean, I love you both, but... <laughs> as well as every other team combined. Holy crap! So yes, thank you very much to everybody who made a video response, and if you didn't, then I appreciate that your thoughts are probably with me. Thanks. As much as this is a yeah, yeah, I won super note, it's more of a congrats on you guys for winning, as you were the people that actually made the videos. So well done. So as well as the fact that our Lama Army won the entire competition, the guy that got the longest note out of anybody was also on the Lama Army. So shout out to generic tech guy who got an absolutely insane 165 seconds. You know, just casually four times longer than my note. So yes, all of these guys can now look forward to me somehow stalking them to get their contact information. I did say though that I would send a personalised postcard to the person that got the highest score, and if I'm being honest, I presumed it'd be a girl. So I hope that generic tech guy likes pink glitter glue and sequins, because I am going to send you the same kind of postcard that I was willing to send everyone else. Just because you're a guy, doesn't mean it's going to be any less romantic and passionate than I'd send to anyone else. So you better like it. This is stalking. So yeah, I mean, as if we didn't know it already, but now you guys literally have a trophy saying that you're the most awesome people on YouTube. So, <laughs> hey, I'm the lucky guy. Because on one hand, even though it might seem totally stupid, like a random singing competition on YouTube, what does that have to do with anything? It actually means quite a lot to me that I won. Let me explain. Right, so you may not know this, but I have been on YouTube since pretty much the start. Like, I've only been making videos for about three years. <laughs> only, but like, I, way back since 2006, I have been watching vloggers. Then when I was 14, I just used to sit on the computer and watch YouTubers all day. People like Paper Lilies and Community Channel and Americans like Lisa Nova and Charlie, you know, I watched these people for years and I used to dream about being a YouTuber. You know, if I'm being honest, I used to fantasize about being a proper YouTuber who made YouTube videos and was friends with other YouTubers and was just part of this awesome community that I just felt like I was looking at through a pane of glass. And even though I've been making videos for three years now, I've never really felt like a proper YouTuber, you know? I'm not one of the vlog brothers. I'm not Shane Dawson or Kev Jumbo. Those are YouTubers. I've always just felt like I'm some random kid that's uploading videos to the same website. And this sense of approval, almost, is something that I've always wanted from YouTube. Like, when Charlie McDonald followed me on Twitter, I wasn't fangirling. It, it was more like a seal of approval, you know what I mean? It's like, I, I am good enough to be acknowledged by a proper YouTuber, you know what I mean? Sounds silly, probably. So the fact that I was even considered to be a team captain by Red and Link meant a huge deal to me, because, it, you know, it meant that I was prominent enough in the community to be relevant, but the fact that I won against, you know, all these amazing people, it just, it really makes me think about where I was six years ago and everything that I've done in the last three years and the fact that it couldn't have happened unless I had such an awesome group of people behind me supporting me, I think that's the most important thing. Because I've, I don't want to, this is an X Factor sob story, but I've never been a popular kid, I've never had that many friends, I've always been Massive dork loser, which I guess is why people subscribe to my YouTube channels, because they can relate, no offence. But it really, really makes me happy, and I just want you guys to know that I appreciate everything. I told myself I wouldn't be a mess! So thank you, those people can look forward to me stalking them, and if you still don't feel like there's enough Dan in your life, then make sure you check out the Super Amazing Project, as it is once a week, as well as Dan is not on fire. So, yes. Have a nice life. Bye. Wah, wah, wow.